the longer a boat is, the better it runs in open seas. That's because it spans the waves better. Okay? By that logic, it would make sense then that no matter what size of the boat you have, you want your boat to utilize as much of its length as possible for running. And what that means is you want a boat with a far forward entry. So you want a boat that as it comes down through here, where it strikes the water first, is not far back from that bow point or the overall length of the boat, okay? Now, a lot of boats, they'll bring this hole way back down in here. So you're not, you're not c contacting the water until you get back in this area. So you have a 24 foot boat, it's not contacting water down until you're about at the 20 foot mark. So you've automatically shortened your boat up, your running ability of your boat by about four feet. Another issue with bringing that down through here is now you don't have the depth that like this boat does. So that impacts you up top. So you don't have near the storage space. You don't have near the freeboard. And then in addition, a lot of times, now you're gonna have to have a step up in the, the front part of the um, cockpit there, which is not a good thing. And I'll talk about that in a minute when we get topside. Another important aspect of the bow entry is that you want a sharp forward entry. That is sharp like this, like a knife, so that it slices the waves. What you can have instead of that is sort of a, a bulbous forward entry like that, which obviously is gonna be having a, a blunt impact on the waves. It's not gonna slice through the waves. It's not gonna make your ride nearly as nice. And then also, it's very nice to have a nice good bow flare there. What that does is as this water gets sliced by the sharp forward entry, it pushes that water up and away so that it doesn't fall back inside the boat and keeps you nice and dry.